guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tomb Raider. Today we're going to play Tomb Raider 2. dramatic. Alright guys, welcome to Tomb Raider 2. This is one of my all-time favorite games. I played this in my early childhood. And man, it is great to see it again. So I'm going to start a new game. So it looks like she's being dropped off by a plane to the Great Wall of China, wherever it is. Hey guys, welcome to level 1 of Tomb Raider 2. This level's called the Great Wall. This is the easiest and also shortest level of the game. That must be our plane taken off. Alright, once we get into this water, two tigers are going to spawn, so I do not want to go back there. I could kill them, but I prefer not to kill endangered species if I don't have to. Alright, so to get up an edge, there's... Uh, or to get up over the edge, there's two things we can do. We can press the jump button and press action to grab, or we can press the up arrow, press action, and she'll climb up anything that's within her jumping height. When we get up here, we're going to have to jump forward, so we want to face the ledge that we want to land on and then jump forward. A standing jump, she can jump the equivalent of about two tiles, in case you're seeing this is a tile-based game. We're standing on one tile right now, and then there's like a tile between here and that other wall. So this game uses the same en this game uses the same engine as its predecessor. Um, but I do think Laura looks a little bit better in this game. Um, her coloring is more enhanced. Um, I think her face is done a little better. Now there's three secrets in this game. There's the gold dragon, the jade dragon, and um, the stone dragon. And I don't know if you can see, this is the stone dragon. It blends in quite well. 
Yep, that's our first of the three secrets. I really love hearing that sound because that means you got a secret. Alright, so we're going to climb up these steps. And then that, uh, that space in the guardhouse tower is where we want to get up. So what we want to do, since there's another jump, we do not want to fall down there and get mauled by the tiger. So we're going to back up, then running jump. We're going to land here. And then we're going to climb up over this ledge. As I mentioned, this game is tile-based, so... Uh, there's one tile between Laura and the wall, and then that grate is also a tile. And when we step on here, it's going to collapse, and we fall into a pool of water. And we want to make sure we don't run out of air. So there's the door we need to open, and then there's the switch. And that's a very long jump, so we want to back up, and then do a running jump. And you want to make sure to press the action button. If you do not press and hold the action button, she will not grab the ledge. You can also roll to turn around faster. I like doing that. And uh, if you ever let go of the action button, she'll let go of the ledge. After you get out here, you want to pull out your pistols, because three crows are going to spawn. I hear them, but I don't see them. Oh, there's another one. And then we should have one more crow. It's crazy. You would not have to shoot a crow that many times. Oh, I hear it. So it took nine shots to kill the crow. It's probably eight shots too many. Then there's a pool of water. And we want to make sure to get this key to the guardhouse tower, which is in this uh, underwater cave. And once we get the underwater key, a tiger is going to spawn. So we want to make sure to get out our pistols right away. He's probably going to uh, leap right at us. Whoa! There he goes. Those tigers will do some real damage if they get you. This is the door we want to open, so here's the keyhole. We're going to press the action button, use our guardhouse key, and open that door. And every time you enter a new room, you want to make sure to get out your pistols, because chances are there, an enemy's going to spawn. And in here, we got a couple of spiders. There's a third one. There's a fourth spider at the top of the steps. Well, the top of the ladder. There's, um, at the top of these stairs, we can look. Uh, there's nothing up here, in case you're wondering about uh, what's in this little window. Yeah, there's nothing. But what we can do... Um, climbing up the ladders takes time, so I did find a little shortcut. What we, what we can do is try to jump and turn left a little bit and grab the, the ledge. Sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. We'll see if I'm... Nope, not feeling too lucky today, so I'm gonna climb up. Climbing is slow. And if you can hear, there's another spider on top of this ladder, so I want to make sure to pull out my pistols. And take care of him. Here's our key to open the door to the next room. And I made a little mistake there. When you back up, you want to make sure to uh, hang from the ledge first because uh, that minimizes your fall, which will minimize your damage. If you fall too far, you will take damage and not much further would kill you. There's another spider that spawns behind us. This dead guy dropped off a large medipack and some shotgun shells, so I'm going to pick that up. Now, since this game is tile-based, you can see this movable block. If I press the action button, she'll go into position, and I can push or pull. I'm going to pull this one. So that opens up a passage to this corridor. Down here, there's going to be another pool. 
And I don't know if you can see, but there's mechanisms that uh, launch uh, disc blades. So I could dart through those, swim under them, try to speed things up. I'm going to take the safe route, the safe but slower route, climb, come up to this ledge and shimmy to the right. It's funny, like, the beat of the blades is the same as the, the beat to her feet if you watch her. Now we want to avoid those blades, you know, hug the right wall if we can. And since we worked pretty hard to get here, I'm saving my game, because I do not want to start back at the beginning of the level. In this game, you can save wherever you want, which is great. But the bad news is, this game never saves for you, so you could be ten levels into the game and you never died, but if you die on level 10, um, you're going to have to start the game all over, which is really going to suck. Alright guys, once we get out here, we better run like hell because there's going to be a boulder. Two boulders, actually. And then there's spikes in front of us, so we want to jump, avoid the spikes. Then this is like a trap room. Uh, there's a set of automatics. We want to uh, flip to the left, grab them, run to the wall, climb up, because we do not want to get spiked. Okay, hurt us just a little bit, but we got the automatic, so we're good. There's some swinging saw blades here. We want to avoid those if we can. Here's our Jade Dragon. So we want to pick that up. Flip to the right. Keep going. Those are breakable tiles. The spiked wall's closing in on us. When we get down here, we're not out of the woods yet. There's another spike wall coming in, so we want to get to this breakable tile before we get spiked. Then get down here. Alright, I'm saving my game because I do not want to have to do that again. Here's a small medipack, which is right in front of those rolling blades. And those rolling blades will kill you instantly if they hit you, so you do not want to be anywhere near those. There's going to be some spiders. When I get stuck on this tile, a couple of spiders are going to spawn. And then another spider is going to come from over there. So there are two things I could do. I could take the zip line down and end the level. That would be the quicker way, but I'd miss a secret. I don't like to miss secrets. I want to do the complete run for all you guys. So what I'm going to do is drop down from this, and then there's like a little space here where I can grab and shimmy to the right. And then I'm going to climb up this ledge, go this way, then grab the set of flares. Mm -hmm. This next part gets really dark, so I'm going to make sure to light a flare. That's some nice music. So I could climb down the ladder, that's going to take time, so what I'm going to do is drop, grab, drop, grab, speed things up, because I get in a hurry. Alright, so now we're in this deep valley, or whatever you call it. So there's some scary music, it makes me think there's something down here, and a couple of di guys died already, so I'm going to stay alert. Whoa, 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 we're gonna run like hell. Whoa, holy. All right, I'm gonna get out my pistols. You do not want to be in a place where he can get you. You do not want to be anywhere near his mouth. He will eat you up. That was rough. And here's our golden dragon right up here. Once 
we get the golden dragon, another T-Rex is gonna spawn. I don't know which one is the mom or the dad. They're probably a mating pair. Once we step into an accessible location, he is gonna charge right at us, so we wanna back the hell up. killed two very endangered species. Alright, so now we found all three of our secrets. I could light a flare, I'm not going to, I'm going to go ahead and just climb the long way up through the darkness. The two things in this game that will slow you down the most are the ladders and the movable blocks. Those get pretty annoying, and they will take time. But you gotta have some patience. hear another spider. Alright, so what I like to always do, back up, hang from the ledge, drop down and roll. Oh, whoa, he's right down there. Alright, so I'm gonna jump. Two of them. Alright. I'm saving my game again before I go down here. Alright, so we're going to press action to grab the zipline. Do not let go of the action button. She will fall to her death. And once we get over here, we're going to be welcomed by two hungry tigers. So we're going to make sure to take care of them. And then there should be another tiger uh, right, right around this corner. Whoa! What if we killed uh, five endangered species now, if you count the dinosaurs? Pardon me, if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. <laughs> Lay that tonic on my earring. Though not anymore. So after you. Somehow, you don't behave like you got the monk's blood. I understand that somehow is in my favor. So indulge me about the dagger. I'd be indebted with your life. These doors are waiting for the right one. The right time to arrive. And then the dagger's blade will honor the hearts of those who believe. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well. And which one is that? The sins and fortunes of Marco Bartoli. Man, that guy's crazy. Did he just poison himself? Looks like he did. Perhaps not just yet, then. Aha, uh -huh. Gianni Bartelli, Via Caravelli, Venice. Alright guys, thank you for watching, stay tuned for my next video, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment below, thank you.